Hello students, welcome back. In today's class, we are going to discuss about the last bit of the topic, photosensitization reactions. Certain reactions are known which are not sensitive to light. That is, in many photochemical reactions, the reactant molecule does not absorb the radiations. In such cases, the reaction may still occur if a foreign species are present. And these foreign species can absorb and transfer their radiate energy for activation of the reactant molecule. And these foreign materials are called photosensitizer. The reaction which is occurred by the photosensitizers is called photosensitized reaction. We are normally used two types of photosensitizers. The one is atomic photosensitizer, for example, mercury, cadmium and zinc. And molecular photosensitizers are benzophenone and sulfur dioxide. Now we will see the role of photosensitizer in photochemical reactions. Initially, photosensitizer absorb radiation and become excited and later it passes its energy to one of the reactants and like this activates the reaction and this photosensitizer is not going to take part in the reaction. That's why the photosensitizer is called as carrier of energy. And don't confuse with the catalyst. In catalysis process, the catalyst is only take part to promote the reaction. But here, the photosensitizer is going to transfer its energy to activate the reaction. So we can see the mechanism. So here, I have taken B for sensitizer, which is also known as donor of energy. And A means a reactant molecule which is uh, known as also acceptor. So initially the donor accepts the or absorbs the radiations and they jumps into a higher energy levels. So here S0, S1 and S2 represent the singlet states. Whenever the molecules excited to the higher energy levels, they returns to the ground state. By singlet state to the transition from singlet state to the under singlet state is called internal conversion. And later this donor is to internal system crossing is jumps into the triplet state. And from triplet states to the singlet states it going to return. But while returning to the singlet states it loses its energy in the form of radiation. That radiated energy is once again absorbed by the acceptor or reactant molecules. So simply here the transfer of energy takes place by colliding of donor molecule with the reacting molecule. And hence once the reactant molecule absorbs that radiated energy, it will excite it to the triplet state. And later it will dissociate to form the product molecule. We will see some examples. First example is reaction between hydrogen and oxygen. And this reaction is sensitized by mercury atoms. So when the mixture of mercury vapor and hydrogen gas is eliminated by a light of wavelength 2537 angstrom the dissociation of molecular hydrogen into atomic hydrogen will takes place but actually the initially the radiations are get absorbed by the mercury atoms normally the energy associated with this wavelength of light is around 113 kilocalories but for dissociation of hydrogen molecule, we required only 103 kilocalories of energy. 
that's why the initially the radiations are get absorbed by the mercury atoms and these mercury atoms get excited to the higher energy levels that is initially get excited to singlet state later internal system crossing they transfer into the triplet states and later this triplet state excited mercury molecules transfers their energy to the any of the reactant molecules here the mercury is going to transfer its energy to the hydrogen molecule and thereby it forms the hydrogen free radicals and these hydrogen free radicals react with the oxygen molecule and they will form the intermediate product and that intermediate product once again react with the one more inter uh, intermediate product that is ho2 and that leads to the formation of hydrogen peroxide with the release of one more molecule of oxygen so the first one the absorption of radiation by mercury is called primary reaction and the second reaction is called energy transfer where the excited mercury atoms transfer their energy to the hydrogen molecule and the third one is called the reaction where the hydrogen free radical reacts with oxygen molecule and they form the intermediate products and that intermediate products once again combine with the one more intermediate product leads to the formation of final product and one more example for photosensitized reaction is photosynthesis of carbohydrates in plants and in photosynthesis the chlorophyll is act as a photosensitizer and it initially absorb the radiations and it will get excited to the higher energy level later it will transfer its energy to water as well as carbon dioxide molecule and later it leads to the formation of carbohydrate and energy is released along with the chlorophyll molecules are returns to the ground state hello students welcome back in today's class we are going to discuss about the last bit of the topic photosensitization reactions hello students welcome back in today's class we are going to discuss about the last bit of the topic photosensitization reactions